All right, guys, I want to talk about SOTOR because the KOTOR remake reminded me about it and why it failed. So let's get right into it. Um, the graphics, easiest part. They're really cartoony. Uh, they don't they don't follow, they don't pay respect to the source material that inspired them and KOTOR. They don't look like KOTOR graphics. They look like WoW graphics. Yeah, it gives me the complete intention of what Bioware was trying to do. Really easy to see through. Yeah, you're making a WoW clone. Thanks for letting me know right on pop-up of the game, Bioware. Thanks. And have you seen the have you seen the beard the beard style? It looks like a dwarf's beard, man. Yeah, yeah, Bioware. I didn't want to play a fantasy MMO, a cartoony fantasy MMO. I wanted to play a Star Wars MMO. Not only that, forget about the graphics. Let's talk about the art style. The art style, it just doesn't help. It doesn't give me that lived-in immersive feel that you get from a Star Wars game, especially from the movies. If the it, it has this. I don't know how to describe this weird plasticky staticky style. It's so staticky plasticky. I can't take note of the environment environments. I can't get immersed. Like land on tattooing. Go to Narshada, go to Corellia, go to Dantui. You just the environment the environments just don't pop, you know? Like whoa. Like yeah, whoa, that 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 looks cool. You don't get that. You you tend to ignore it because the art style just doesn't make it stick out. It just feels staticky, right? I don't know any other better way to describe it. Which, and the next point I want to describe is why the game didn't take off is because there's no player agency. Yeah, the story is amazing, guys. No doubt about it, except for, except for a couple of classes, but whatever, right? It's just you do the story. You go from point A, where you start out as a Jedi Knight or a Sith Warrior, and you end it with a, as a Jedi Master or as part of the Dark Council. That's it. There's nothing else to do in the side. Yeah, you have your side quest, but they don't really make... They don't matter much, man. That's it. Like, what else is there to do? Like, for example, in a Star Wars universe, think of the stuff you want. You don't want to do. You wouldn't want to smuggle spice. You want. You would want to go hunt other people, other bounty. And you would want to bounty hunt other people, not NPCs, right? As a bounty hunter, maybe you want to play some Pazak. There's no Pazak. Maybe you want to go on a swoop by a swoop racing. But they they brought in swoop racing last year. I looked at it. It looks pathetic. It looks. It's Kotor one and two, tw nearly twenty year old games. Their swoop racing looks way better. Come on, man. And what others? Player housing instant housing complete fail come on man uh, I, uh with housing i would like if i was living in a star wars universe i would want to establish a fort with my own business and inside it like you could do an swg have my own vendors run my own shop that'd be cool and anybody who's going through the desert on the speeder could come into my house and check it out that's immersive that gives me that makes me want to go explore the world you get what i mean there's no activities like that the planets once again they're very rigid very linear there's no there's no reason to explore them man they're like because there's nothing there. There's no player-generated content on those player on those planets. You just do the story. If you do the story, you'll run through those planets. You'll see everything that there's to see. It's just there's no there's no you see there's no lasting factor. You get what I mean? And let's go to the open world PvP. There is no open world PvP. <laughs> there's PvP battlegrounds, but there's no open world PvP. You know how high the hype trailer where Malgus is attacking Alderaan? They were they had a huge skill battle. You got nothing like that in this game. <laughs> yeah, you got your PvP battleground in this small area where you fight the other faction with their set of objectives, and that's it. You know how long it takes Bioware to come up with a PvP battleground? It might take them years to come up with another one. The same thing goes with space. Space, you, you have PvP battlegrounds. You go on, you get on your starship, and you attack the other players for, for like five minute, ten minute death match. Or you have this on rails, on rails thing like Star Fox, like a fake cheap imitation of Star Fox you got those two modes there's no hey yeah let me get my own ship let me customize let me paint it let me customize the interior uh, let me bring other players on this ship and let's go explore space let's travel from uh, from planet to planet system to system no see you see again not that Star Wars feeling that immersive feeling that lived in feeling no it feels like you're, you're stuck in this piece of time like on this set piece you, you land on tattooing there's no binary sunset. You land on tattooing on day, and that's it. You do your story, you come back. The day never ended. Can you believe that? You don't see the binary sunset. You don't see. You don't see the binary sunrise. There's no immersive factor. You get what I mean? People, there's no. There's no players. There's no sense of community. People are all over the place. No, because there's, since there's no player generated content, no player agency, nobody has a what do you call it, reason to go any of these planets, hang on the cantina, or do anything. That's where Bioware failed, man. It just feels. An empty, hollowless stage. That's how I would describe uh, Sotor. Yeah, once the once the the play is over, that's it. You roll down the curtains, and that's it. There's nothing else to do. Exit the theater. That's how bad it is, man. Uh, I don't know how they screwed up so bad. And you know the event side events. They have they're very repetitive. The Gree event. That's been going on for I think I don't know seven, eight years. 
and they have the rap cool event. You have these lame events with repetitive nonsense nonsense going on. There's no re actual reason for a player to stick in. And all the cool armor, maybe you want to get some cool armor. Yeah, it's locked behind a paywall. Get some cartel coins. How pathetic, man. And and, and you, you just look at the state of the game. You know how long it takes for content to come out? It takes like a year to get a couple flash points. It's, th it's that slow, man. They got a skeleton crew working on this game. Even they've lost hope on this game. They messed up so bad. You know what James Olin said before he left Bioware Austin? He, one of his regrets, one, one thing he could fix with Soldier was to add more sandbox content. That would have been amazing. I don't know how these developers don't see it. You had Star Wars Galaxy sitting there. You could have taken Star Wars Galaxies and added Soul Tour's amazing story and you would have, had a, you'd have a, a killer game right there. That could have killed WoW. I don't know why developers don't understand this. The way you're going to kill WoW is not by WoW itself. You're going to have to make something truly unique. Something that truly captivates the players. And you had the IP to do it. But your game, dev your game design philosophy was completely ununique. Completely stale. Like stale milk. And this is what happens, man. The game, like, how many people are even playing the game? Does this game chart? Nah. This doesn't chart. It's not even barely, it's barely getting any content. It tells you EA doesn't care at all anymore, man. It's absolutely pathetic. And it's absolutely sad. This game could have been something, something amazing, something unique. I was so hyped for this game 10 years ago. I replayed KOTOR 1 and 2 because I was that hyped for this game. But it just didn't live up to it, man. It was like, ugh, it's like, it's like watching a movie. Once you watch it, you're done. That's it, man. That's it. And uh, man, and now Koto remake. I'm worried about that because you got some SJW feminists writing that game, man. But oh man, like, I don't know what's gonna happen to gaming, man. I feel terrible. I feel sick, man. Like my one of my favorite hobbies, one of my favorite pastimes. I've been playing games since I was four years old, man. It's all going down the drain, man. By through by lazy game design that's extremely apparent to the common gamer who's been here around the block and woke politics, man. Ugh.